certainly there seem to be some uh, similarity um, with what happens on Farbas Road and what happens in Ladyville. Um, it's a matter we're looking at. We, we are looking for an individual who has been identified as the person who rented the van that was used in the Farbas Road um, incident. We have not been able to find that person. I have told CIB to do a wanted poster and we're going to issue that today for that individual. Um, and then we'll see how we go from there. But as I've said on the show this morning, that there needs to be more done by the bank and uh, the business establishments that do have these um, ATM machines. Um, you would know that the ATMs is not something that that closes or that lacks after a um, particular hour. It remains accessible 24 hours. And so, so long as you have a card um, for the bank that houses the ATM, um, you can access the ATM and do what you want in there. Um, so what I'm suggesting is that the bank that owns the ATM and the establishment that houses the ATM needs to come together and put additional security, perhaps in the form of an armed guard, or they can put some alarm system on the um, ATM that in the event that the ATM is removed, the alarm goes off. And uh, by the alarm going off, it will alert the public and uh, the, 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 the thieves would be placed in a, in a state of fear and may run leaving the ATM because once the alarm goes off, they know it's going to attract people to come around and may see them. So something needs to be done to, to put some additional security features at these establishments that do houses these um, ATMs.